somebody's had a heart attack in a house and you call the paramedics and they show up and they're like, yeah, this isn't, Joe's not going to make it. He's not getting in the ambulance. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Number one country in the world. Nobody's picking you up when you're sick. Imagine, I like poor little lady sitting there with her dying husband and nobody's going to help her in her living room. Or if you've had a heart uh, car accident or a heart attack or, you know, any, like anything other than COVID imagine like it's scary. And this well, is what nobody's talking and about. This like, is what socialized medicine's going to look like. This is all I'm hearing from the Republican friends of mine. Welcome to socialism where you don't get any medical treatment. Because okay, it's government well, run. Like medicine here is still not leaving you dying in your living room. Thank you. It's like it's, love to. Yep, we got the field hospitals popping up. Yeah, I mean, talk about using that as a scare tactic. You know what I mean? That's yeah. true, though. They're gonna, aren't they? Mm-hmm. There yep. was a, a news flash I just got on my phone. Um, at least 25 troops under investigation for terrorism in connection with Capitol riot. Troops? Yeah. I just saw one for off-duty cops and firefighters, same thing. There, yeah. Why? Because I'm confused. What did they say? They were Because they were marching up the steps trying to break oh, in. They were part of the group. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're in trouble. Um, Jesus, I, you know, I, I don't get like you fight like that one guy with the zip ties, the one that was going to hold, um, uh, trials and then execute members of Congress and Senate. He had, where did they learn that that was his plan? I saw the picture of him jumping through the, you know, through there with his zip ties in his hand. Well, he wasn't going to organize their cables, Cindy. I can tell you that. Yeah, no. (laughs) I was going to give him better Wi-Fi signal. Right. <laughs> well, but honestly, I mean, I, I, I wonder if they've like gotten access to his phone or they're texting or, you know what I mean? And, and seen more. Honestly, they've sorted out who all those people are so fast. I wouldn't. Oh my God. Has anybody gone on the Instagram page where they're they sh- keep getting shut down? They've gone to Twitter now because Instagram keeps kicking them off. Oh, it's so funny. They ha- keep showing, uh, <laughs> like, you know, releasing their name and all their pictures and all their info, their phone numbers, everything. Yeah. But all that was found so quick. I'm assuming finding those people where they've posted the crap they were planning, even if they weren't actually planning it and just talking about it on Facebook would not have been hard to sort out. And how yeah. about one congressman from West Virginia who recorded himself like through the whole thing? What kind of idiot are you? They're not the brightest. I'm going to tell you, I have a lot of friends, um, who are, you know, very, um, very, very liberal and very much into the whole Black Lives Matter movement. Uh, You know, but a lot of like, um, they do a lot of food drives. I mean, they do a lot of, you know, really good stuff. They're not, you know, criminals by any means that have looted or anything, you know what I mean? They are very peacefully protesting people, you know? And they... um, they were just saying like, how, I, I, I don't even know. I lost my train of thought because to me, it's just so outrageous that these people got into the Capitol. I mean, could you, I, I just couldn't even imagine. I mean, they could say, oh, well, the Black Lives Matter, you know what I mean? These, these Republicans are like, well, you know, they are looting and they're rioting. And number one, that wasn't part of the protest. Those were criminals. Those were not the people looting. They were not the people that were protesting, number one, okay? I I never, the Black Lives Matter people that, you know, were out there peacefully protesting, were not pushing their way into any public buildings, any of that. I mean, these people actually stormed the Capitol while Senate was in session. Like, that is just the most insane. And they videotaped themselves. Like the Black Lives Matter friends that I have, like they have a code. You don't post anything you're doing, even though it's nothing bad, but just to be safe, you don't post that shit. 
You don't even say each other's names during the protest because you can't risk somebody taking you out of taking it out of context, you know, which and I understand that, too. Yeah, for sure. You know, but in these dumb asses, I'm like, they were just so stupid. I think Nancy Pelosi's desk. Did you see like the video that he put up? Like, what's I, I, you know what? One thing that scares me is all of these names being posted. Now I'm starting to think Trump is going to be able to pardon all of them if he wants to. Yeah, he will. He'll, it'll never happen. Don't give him their names. Yeah, he won't pardon any of them. Are you kidding me? He would not. Ne- that's never going to happen. Uh, the fact that he still is in the White House trying to figure out how he could stay president. Oh, another funny, a funny thing is that they're all posting on the parlor that they don't think it was Trump that made that little recorded speech that pretty oh. much said they think they don't think it was him. They think it was like a lookalike that they, that the, the Democrats put up. They're like, Trump Trump can come out and say, Hey, that wasn't me. No, they believe that. And they're all posting side by sides and imperfections on why it's not Trump. Mm -hmm. They believe all this. It's, it's mind boggling. Do you think he has a fake person though? I'm sure there's people that look like him, but I I don't, I'm assuming like, now that I'm thinking about it, I think that kind of just makes sense for like a president to have like a fake stand in, not for speeches and stuff, but for certain times, like, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if they do. Has anyone seen Alec Baldwin lately? I haven't. <laughs> well, he's hiding <laughs> because his wife has got busted. She's, she's a little crazy. Where did she come from? Was not. And why is she like trying to pretend she was born in Sp- in Spain? Like, isn't that the most bizarre? Like, because who Alec to pretend they're Spanish. Spanish? Women. Alec likes Spanish women. Are you kidding? No, that's the whole thing. So he did a movie with. <gasps> Thank you. Fill me in, Jen. He did a movie with Selma Hayek and yes. had a thing for her. Asked her out, and she's like, "No, thank you." Oh, God, I love her. She's hot. So I guess, like, the rumors were around, like, oh, he's really into her and stuff. So yeah. I don't know if they had a yoga class together or she got into his yoga class. But anyway, she went up to him in yoga class with her little Spanish accent. Oh, hello. I'm Hillary. <laughs> oh, my who are you? And she's like, oh, nice to meet you. Da, 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 da. Pretending she'd never heard of him. Like, oh, my family doesn't know who you are. My family, they're Spanish. They can't even say your last name. Oh, my God. Oh, and she my God. Are you? It. No so wonder. So if all of her friends were like, Hilaria, like, where are you, where are you going with this? Like, are you going to tell them? She's like, mm, nope. So, like, she's played the long game. All of her kids are... they got, Spanish. like, how many kids? They have four kids. They all have Spanish names. They've been on Hola Magazine twice talking what? about her Spanish heritage. Oh, my God. This is brilliant. She was on Good Morning America, one of those shows doing a cooking demonstration, and she had a cucumber, and she's like, oh, and the veggies for my salad and her little accent, and that thing, I never remember the English word. What is that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You grew up in Boston. Shut up. <laughs> so then all of her friends started coming out from school, and they're like, this is Hillary Johnson from Boston. Like, Oh, my God. Her parents are not even Spanish. They have retired now and live in Spain. But like her dad, I think, is a lawyer. And her mom was maybe even like a professor at some Boston University. Like the woman has, oh, she moved to New York to go to NYU when she was 19 because she'd always watched American TV and thought it looked really, really fun. Oh my God. So she, cause all right. Thank you, Jen, for filling me in because during, you know, while this, that story had broke, I was like, what's the big deal? Like who cares? But I didn't realize that there was so much more to it. He not Spanish. 
I know that, but now I'm understand because I'm like, why would she fake being Spanish to him? So then the whole thing is, did Alec ever know? Like, has it ever slipped? Well, uh, you know what gets me is they said that like on interviews and stuff that her accent did it would come and go all the time. Yeah. Like, but, but but then I think you chalk it up to what if they've been married maybe tennis year? Like how old? She's probably got to be close to 40. So I think she said she was 19 when she, so she's been here 20 years, theoretically. So in her 20 years, like, yeah, your accent gets a little Americanized. Right. But so who blew her in all of her friends? I don't know. I know Amy Schumer posted a meme about it. And I think that's when it really blew up. She put on like a hat on her Instagram and said something about, oh, now I'm Spanish. (laughs) And um, I guess that's, and then that's when um, Sophia Bush went all in. That's the girl who like, figures out all the Instagrammers. I think she's the one that went off after Simple, Simply Navy and Ariel Sharnas, um, all those people Yeah, about their crap. I think she went and she found like years of clips where this woman has like full on fake the Spanishness. Okay, that is so ridiculous, but yet so brilliant that she knew but like, does Spanish know. women and pulled that back. Well, I don't know how long Alex known, but I did see on there that like they were like he still totally supports in his wife, whatever, da da da. But I was like, that's how she she nabbed him. She's like, ooh, he likes Spanish women. I'm gonna pretend I'm Spanish. <laughs> that's a brilliant. <laughs> I, I got to give her credit at work. She's got a bunch of kids with him. Eh. Is that, you know, got, now she got the American dream. Little yeah. Spanish girl grows up. <laughs> oh man. At least we got one stupid news story out of this mess. Bless. Bless <laughs> the world. Oh man. So yeah. So Rachel, you, you, uh, is everybody miserable where you live? So here's the weird thing. We moved here like seven years ago. Mm -hmm. When we moved here, we met a lot of people. There was this really good diner down the street. We used to go there every weekend. And um, so I met a lot of people in the town and we loved it. Like, wow, these people are so nice. Mm -hmm. And then 2016 came. And then I realized I lived amongst monsters. (laughs) They are crazy. Even like the mayor of our town is a racist, you know, and she's like one of those all lives matter, you know, things. And uh, these are the people in my neighborhood. They (laughs) are crazy. And there's a few of us. We're very far and few between, but we banded together on this one local site. Yes. Then there are these other sites and like, I've actually got this one thing in front of me that that article about the FBI not having any evidence of Antifa, Antifa participating. Right. And this one person posts, um, I don't trust anything coming from the FBI. Um, and then this other woman said, you go ahead and believe what they want you to and post stupid memes against anyone who has a different opinion. It really drives your point home. I'll go ahead and keep my eyes and ears open. And this one girl responded, you do that, trainer. (laughs) (laughs) They're not. I just, I can't. And they're they're here. I've got one guy down the street. Yeah. He's like big 10 foot Trump sign. Yeah. And uh, and he still has it out. Yeah. uh, Please trust me where I, where I work, the Trump things are everywhere, but there's this one guy who, um, about five years ago, he was hunting and he shot and killed someone, just like another guy out in the woods. It wasn't even his, like who he was hunting with. He just shot someone. He's a little trigger happy. Well, of course, nothing happened. You know what I mean? It was a mistake. And uh, I drive by the house all the time there. And I just get creeped out every time I drive by, especially since Trump, because the signs are everywhere. Well, he has a huge Trump banner up on, like he's got like a big barn in the back, he's got one of those huge farmhouses, you know, and there's a huge Trump sign on the barn. And like right 
it must have been like right after the election, you know, maybe a week after um, there was a shooting and they said that, you know, someone said it was his house and like the roads were all blocked off at this one night. 